Alright, so welcome back. Well, not welcome back. Welcome back to me, because this will be the longest hiatus I have ever taken, and probably ever will take. This is just a hobby. I'm not doing this for money. But I am going to be playing through the Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection with only my fists. Now, that means I cannot have the hidden blades or the swords equipped, but I can strictly use my fists or any tool or secondary weapon I feel like. Now, this may seem like a bit of cheating to, you know, the rest of you, but, well, screw it, I guess. Turn up the volume. I can't tell how high it is. There we go. Now, this will be a new save file for me. And I'm not half bad at the Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection because I played through it twice. You can pause to read this if you feel like. Wow, I've already gone through a minute of this episode. And. Never mind. Uh, we're going to do Black Flag first. Which is going to be an uh, interesting prospect because a pirate fighting with his fists. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Uh, let's see if we can focus the camera here. I love this theme. I'll be honest. I have this theme on my phone. Uh, you can see I have the DLCs, cause, so if you want me to do the exact same thing with the DLCs, I can do that. Uh, leave that in the comments, but I'll also be doing Rogue. And then, maybe I'll play some Dark Souls. I don't know, it depends on what you guys like. I thought that little screen was going to take a lot while. <sighs> My commentary is all over the place, I haven't done this in years. I do have subtitles on. I'm not gonna skip this. Oh, and I'll try not to talk over this. Alright, you can pause to read this if you really want to. But basically what it's saying is, you aim with this trigger and you shoot with the other one. So, you know, uh, this. So I'm actually watching what I am doing through the uh, through the screen, and I know that these things down here, the enemy ships, look a little orange. They're red, just so you know. So it's gonna be a little hard to distinguish tailing missions from uh, killing missions. So I feel like that'll be a little funny down the line, or just a little frustrating. Really depends. And we have this Mamba Jamba. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess we still have to deal with it. Just took a lightning strike to it. This ship has zero cannons whatsoever. Alright, so we won this sequence. Well, this part of the sequence anyway. But the problem is still one of... Uh, yeah, that. Okay, I don't know how he got onto the ship, because he clearly did not swim. And that doesn't even look like the character. That looks like a completely different assassin. Well, we're dead. Sail under gentlemen. Sold the Navy's gentlemen. 
For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? It would be Jack for a poor person. A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Fade to black so he doesn't have to answer. Smart move, Edward. And somehow we lived. I guess that's good, but at the same time, you know, shouldn't have happened. But, you know, protagonist. Right, so I was going to tell you how to uh, swim fast later, but I'm going to just start doing it now. Oh, I can't access the weapon thing yet. Alright, well, let's hope we can do it when we get, uh, when we get ashore. Now this is going to be a pretty long series because this is at least a decently long game. I spent 29 hours on it. I've only finished one profile. Obvious innuendo is obvious. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred excuse. Okay, I don't know what those are. I don't understand how, if these two survived, how did the other ones not? Man, grab that pistol and find some ammo for it. And here's where we're gonna switch to unarmed. Now this means I won't be able to get 100% sync constantly because there's certain things you have to do with like the hidden blades. Like for a mission later on. But, you know what? I don't need 100% sync. I just need to have fun with my fists. How can Edward do this? Like, this is a little much, and how does he know he's an assassin already? Ruins the immersion just a little bit. If there was any immersion to begin with, I guess. Hop. Commentary is going to be pretty weak for a bit, because I can't get into the groove of this just yet, since, you know, out for two years. Was it three? I think it was two. Either way. We're going to get up to the synchronization point. I can ruin every single one of these synchronizations just by turning backwards. What the hell was that? Furthermore, how does he know how to do that? Edward, Edward's an elite hacker, I swear to God. Also, you don't get this jacked from just climbing rigging. He was jacked before this. I'm gonna climb up this here.
and I think I might just end the episode when I get up to this other synchronization point, because that seems like a good thing to end on here, and it'll be a bit of a cliffhanger for anyone who hasn't seen this game. Alright, so that is my first day back. I will see you guys later, with hopefully with more consistent uploads once I am out of school for a bit. Alright, see you later. This is Joker, signing off.